Hello, so in this video, we are going to talk about how to resolve locking issues that can occur in Tomcat in digital workplace. These normally manifest themselves after a database restore, uh, server group patching, standing up a system that was cloned from another box. So let's, uh, let's take a look at the system that I've got in place. All right, so here's my Tomcat system. And I know that something is going on here because I've got an approval item that was just recently submitted. If I look at it, it was just submitted this morning, but it's not showing up in my notifications. So let's go to the DWP box and see what we can find on it. So if I look at my DWP log, one of the things we want to look for here is the word log. So there's an error right there, population service. I don't know that that's playing a role in this. Um, let's do another search because this is notifications. Let's do a search for social. There we go. So this definitely is the reason why my notifications aren't occurring. We've got an object does not exist in social two db. So if I go look at my social two log, we see this liquid base error, a lock exception. So, and it's it's not able to write. And there's one other place you can check for these errors as well, and that's going to be in a Tomcat log. And we see the same error here as well that the lock could not be obtained and therefore we have a problem. So, you know, this could also affect logging in, notifications, you could get into Tomcat and other things may not work. So just keep that in mind based on what may have changed recently in your environment to come and check the logs for social two errors or lock errors. Okay, so now to correct these, we need to go to the system with the database. All right, so on our database system, and these commands are listed in the KA, I've run these commands, and if anything is set to one, that's problematic. So all of these appear to be set to one. So there's another command that we can run to update these. And we would just need to execute these commands and it's updated all of them. And then if we come back over here, just run this again, everything looks good there. Okay, so now what we'll need to do is we'll need to restart Tomcat. So let's go ahead and restart Tomcat. All right, so now my Tomcat's been restarted. Let's just take a look at the current logging. Okay, so far I don't see anything about those lock errors in here. Um, let's just check any of the DWP logging since the restart. I don't see anything yet in the DWP log, social two log. I don't see anything in it either. So hopefully that's resolved the issue. So what we can do, uh, let's log in again here to TWP. And, and there we go. There I have before it wasn't showing any notifications. Now I've got quite a few in there. I've got 34 notifications in there that are now showing up as a ready for approval or various other types of notifications that may occur. So updating the item in the database took care of that and restarting Tomcat. And we're not seeing any of the lock errors in the logs. Thank you for your time.